a new a new start um it, it helped me to to dream again to start a new life and i i already have my order protection against my husband yeah but still every time that i think about my husband i just feel scared i don't know why yeah. romance i don't have a job i'm looking for a job and then they they even give me um, a money for transportation from their own packet so i can find a job so i can get to a job interview that's how they really nice and then they give me advice that oh don't give up you can find a job i'm very thankful at first to god and then this institute this center mm -hmm. that helped me a lot <laughs> The faces of the Humdard Center for Health and Human Services tell many stories. The story of a wife and husband who saw needs in their community and faced the complex issues and problems of cultural differences to bring urgent help and healing to a diverse population. The story of seniors who might not ever see the outside of a cramped apartment without a safe place to go. The story of children and teens getting positive experiences from adults who care. The story of battered women and abused children who now see the possibility of a bright future. The range of provided services is wide and the commitment of the staff is deep but only with the continued support of their extended family through generous financial contributions and unselfish volunteerism can the Hamdard Center continue to serve its existing clients and grow to address the requirements of the many who cannot currently take advantage of the center's services due to a lack of needed funds and volunteers. Here are just a few of the Hamdard Center's many areas of help and healing. Well, I think that in the past year that the youth program has really been able to develop a very strong academic core. Um, the academic programming has grown um, and become a real strength of the program and I really hope that in the future that we're able to maintain that. I believe that that's very unique to our program. Almost every child has improved through the year through our one-on-one -on -one tutoring and focusing on their specific areas of need. I'm coming here and Hamdard is just like a home for us, you know. We senior citizens, we have friends here, you know, all senior citizens coming here. We talk, we chat with each other and uh, we have nice programs here. So that is the main reason why I come here every day. They give us good food, nutritious food, that's number one. Then we have company of other senior citizens. So that's also just like a very good social life. We do exercise here whenever nurse is available and uh, they take care of our health too. So th this is the main reason uh, why I feel like I'm at my home. I came, I joined Hamdard in 2006 after I finished my residency in, from Chicago Medical School and at that time Hamdard had uh, about uh, 100 uh, clients you know, from uh, uh, Bosnia and most of them they have uh, uh, PTSD and since then a number of clients are growing and we are almost like, like 400. It is here evident, not just in DuPage County, Cook County, Lake County, in Illinois, in New York, you know, in California, it's here. And so we would of course, be, we would love to be out of business in our domestic violence program because that would mean that there is no domestic violence in the world. You know, we are waiting for that day when we can say, safely say there is no domestic violence 
in the community. But until that day, women and children and men need us and we are here for them. So when I work with the ladies here, um, I, I see them in their crisis situation, but I also know that they're on their way to much better things. Community advocacy, education, training, family preservation, and child welfare are also among the reasons to help the Humdard Center in a time of urgent need. Over the past 18 years, the Humdard Center has a proven track record of saving families and individuals with no other choices, while remaining fiscally responsible and dedicated to doing all that could be done for its clients. Uh, to some degree, I'm, I'm carrying on the vision uh, that my mom and dad started. Uh, the future of Humdard Center obviously lies with the uh, great demand that's still out there, the great need that's out in the community because as our community, the South Asian, the Bosnian, the Middle Eastern community grows, there are more and more people that fall through the cracks and find themselves in a, in a crisis situation. Now she was the main force behind uh, She was the catalyst. She was the mover and the shaker. It was her vision basically that we both got together and tried to implement it because she wanted to. She believed in empowering, you know, uh, especially ladies because they were suffering and going through. So she was quite a lady. Today, the Humdard Center needs your help to make the dream of a self-sustaining, community-based health and human services center get closer to reality. <laughs>